All right. So last time on the messenger, this this whole area happened. I think that was the way we came from. So where do we go next? Do I jump off the cliff? Yeah, we already... We already said all that. Welcome to the Cloud Ruins, remnants of a civilization of giants that used to live in the sky. The place is beautiful, but the structures feel precarious. Yeah, bad place if you're afraid of heights. How high am I? You mean in my opinion? What? Oh, geographically. Well, you entered the Tower of Time at the top of a mountain, then exited through the top of the tower, so I'd say fairly high. Enjoy the sights. Alright. New look. What's the deal with everything looking so... different? You know, I was wondering how you were going to deal with the implications of time travel. It seems ignorance really is bliss. Pardon? That moment in the Tower of Time? Yeah. It sent you to the future. Neat. Yeah, precisely. Neat. What do you want to know? I guess nothing. No, I guess I'm good. It seems there is only one way forward. Oh! I didn't realize this was solid. I assume... What the hell? Uh, hi. Can you... not? Why is this thing chasing me all of a sudden? You come back here, I'll fucking cut you one. Alright then. Moving on, I suppose. Do you have anything to say about that? You have no hat again. Need anything? You have nothing to say about that. Alright. As usual, it's been a bit of time since I played this last. So, if I forget how to do stuff, that's why. It's less that I'm bad at games and more that I'm bad at memory. But if you've been watching for a while, you know that. Oh, shit. God, everything sounds different. Man, that was painful to watch. Yeah, I sure hope not. Because the whole point of this game is, you know, to be entertained. That ghost seems really benign, and I keep killing it anyway. This isn't quite as bad as the the Tower of Time. I say as I die immediately. I've saved your life 35 times. Yeah, thanks. There really is no reason for me to keep killing that ghost other than I want to. Alright, Brain. We're gonna get through this one this time, right? Ouch. Thanks, Brain. I swear I didn't do that on purpose. Right. Alright. Oh, good. A glider segment. Ah, I don't like it. I'm not so good with the glider. Now we're back to these again. Hello. Goodbye. I'm super glad that there's no ground for me to stand on. Nope. Shit. That one probably could be handled better. I really wasn't expecting you to fall in that pit. That's what I would have said if I had any faith in you. Thank you, Quarble. 
I like my own personal trainer if my personal trainer was an asshole. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, Quarble, you're an asshole. Okay, so I guess with this one I have to ride it down and then jump. Whoop. Something like that. Just let me down. Hello. Goodbye. I wonder, like, if there is something to these, like, rings of things. Jet. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm really not a fan of that. Why? Because I'm bad at it. That's why. Can we have some solid ground, please? I miss my platforms in this platforming game. You could also do with uh... Oh, I think I might have just effed myself. Oh, just barely. Yeah, I could do with more platforms in this platforming game. Checkpoint is always nice, though. Anything new? What you got for upgrades? Still nothing that I can really afford. Hmm, more clouds. Yep, I was waiting for you. I don't mind this so much because it's generally generally doable without too much trouble. I just had to fucking say something. You ain't getting me, dragon. Alright. Seems to be immune to shuriken. Can you tell me anything about that dragon, perhaps? Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. So it's a starving little boy who never missed a chance to help his fellow villagers. One day, after helping an old man carry a heavy bundle of wheat, he was offered a loaf of bread. Eat your fill, my boy. It is well deserved. He began. But if you feel like helping even more, there are two gnomes hiding in the forest who are even hungrier than you are. Now that boy was an empathetic, empathetic one. His mind was made up instantly. After a short hike, he found the gnomes and split the bread between the two of them, without even saving a bite for himself. Whoops. I missed something, so I'll, I'll pause it and you guys can read it. Indeed, to punish them for their greed, a spirit had put them under a rather annoying spell. They were exiled to the forest, carrying a magic little mill capable of producing anything its bearer desired. But the little mill's magic would only be activated once the gnomes were fed by a stranger acting out of selfless generosity. To starve while carrying a relic promising abundance, a cruel fate indeed. Now you can imagine the little boy's surprise when he was given the magic item. Name something you want while turning the crank to the right, and the little mill will produce an endless stream of it, the gnomes explained. Turn it to the left, and it will stop. After creating a huge pile of food for the two gnomes, the young boy went back to his village to help the populace with his newfound powers. But as he grew in popularity, his older sister grew in jealousy. One night, she couldn't take it anymore, and stole the little mill from her brother's bedside table, along with two leftover pies from that afternoon's feast. Adding insult to injury, she left the fam 
She left on the family's fishing boat to reach new lands, hoping to have her turn in the role of the popular purveyor. Once out at sea, she decided to try one of the pies, which, to her taste, were lacking a little something. It was time to try out that little mill's magic, she reckoned. Give me salt, she said, turning the crank to the right. And salt she got. Heaps and heaps of it. Now, older sister had never bothered paying attention to how the mill could be stopped. Stop, little mill, stop, she shouted. First annoyed, then worried, and finally panicked. Salt soon overflowed the boat itself, sinking it under the weight. It is said that the sunken little mill is still operational to this day, and the reason why the seawater is salty. The end. That was interesting, but it feels more like a kid's story explaining things about the world we know the actual reason for. Tough crowd, huh? Why don't you tell me a story and I'll judge it. So you're looking for additional takeaways? How about this? Seeing how big, seeing how big sister's anger led her to demise, irritated people were henceforth referred to as salty. Oh, I got another one. Seeing as how big sister's shortcomings as a little mill operator led to her demise, unqualified people were henceforth referred to as not being worth their salt. Hey, this is fun. You should go. I'll keep on coming up with morales to do with salt. All right. Now I don't need anything. I think that's going to do it for the messenger today. I hope you guys enjoyed the little story at the end there, and I will see you for the next one. Take care.